Hey Crafty Peeps, Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you how to put together the um, Angel Bird Tassel Kit. And uh, all of the goodies you get are, you get two birds which come in this bag. You get the bag of uh, laces and trims. And then you get a big bag of uh, embellishments and goodies. Now, I'm going to show you how to put this together. You can order the kit over on creatingwithdetailstore.com. The link will be in the description box down below. And we have a very, 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 very limited number of kits available. So it's first come, first serve. Our last uh, kit sold out that I'll be teaching on the 6th. And uh, we are anticipating with all the wonderful kits that we have coming, they'll go fast. So, um, today I'm going to put this together for you, show you how to put it together. Um, and if you don't get the kit, all of this stuff that's in this kit is in the store. So you can buy it and follow this tutorial and make your very own. So, nobody's really losing. We just happen to put all these pieces together in a kit for you. Um, and there's a limited number of the kits put together. But again, everything in the, I'm using is in the store. So... All right, um, in the first bag, you get two birds, and I have already been playing around with this kit, and the birds are going to be stuck together because they're like little dove birds, love bug, you know, love birds, and then you're just going to break them apart. Now, there's enough product in here uh, to lend you to make two kits, I mean, two tassels, but because May is very generous um, in all of the stuff she gives you to make a kit. You get two corks, you get a little crown to go on the bird, you get your wire, you get two, um, this is supposed to um, be the nest for the bird, and you get tons and tons of different laces and trims, and you applique here, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous! And look, look at these appliques. You get two of these when you only need one to make. So you'll have an extra one. Okay, so I am going to show you how to put this together. In fact, um, I just want to make sure my computer's good. We were supposed to be having some storms here shortly. And um, like severe storms. So I'm hoping I can get through this kit get through this project rather quickly not too quickly but you know what I mean before the storms hit so anyway all right so I want to make sure I had everything going okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get out your trims here and let me look at this tons I mean crap load of pearls and I mean holy moly that is enough to make two kits. I mean, she is very generous in uh, the kits. Um, May designed this kit, and uh, I um, just look at this. Just mountains of laces just in that one bag. So what you're going to do is, is you're just going to take these, and you're going to gather them up just basically you're going to gather them up like this and uh, I'm just going to use the full length of mine because um, I'm just going to make one tassel out of this so I want mine really bellowy and chunky so um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to keep gathering them like this and they don't have to all be the same length that is only a preference if you want okay you're just going to keep gathering i mean look at this this is just tons tons and tons of different laces and trims and you don't have to use all of them if you don't want to but i am i'm going to use all of them because i want my tassel to be so bellowy and beautiful and I will have this tassel for sale over in my Etsy 
so you're just going to keep gathering I mean look just tons just like that put that piece there put another piece and we'll turn it around gonna put another strand of pearls put another strand of that oops sorry if I hit the camera gonna put it there we go see look at that that is just so full and beautiful yeah, this, okay, y'all, y'all need to jump on this kit. Oh, uh, seriously, I mean, look at all of this. <laughs> this is like, I, if I had to guess, an easy 12 yards of just different laces and trims. Easy. I mean, if you wanted to try to guess the... The yardage of it so I'm gonna flip this one over and then I'm gonna add that so there you go now you've got this and you want to kind of find your center here and you want to uh, you know at this moment you'll pull and try to even out if you want try to even out your tassel here now in your kit you get a piece of wire and again, this is enough to make two, but um, what you're going to do is, is you're going to take this wire and you're going to wire all of this together. Okay. That's a handful right there. Okay. So you're going to take this wire and make sure before you wire it, you know, like you pull how you want it, okay, and then you're going to take it and you're going to twist it just like that, okay, okay, now that's nice and tight, okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get you some wire cutters and you're going to snip this off and discard that. Okay. Then you're going to take your cork and you're going to poke a hole in the bottom of it like this. Kind of get your hole there going. And then you're going to take your hot glue, you're going to put it right there, and then you're going to take this wire you just created, and you're going to push it all the way up into that hole. And then you're going to hold it there for a few moments, just like that. So, you will need a hot glue gun, or you can use your glossy accents but hot glue will really get this um, stuck on there very well and everything okay so there we go we've got the tassel part made easy peasy now in this kit you get a piece of this embroidered um, trim and you're just going to take it and as you see there's enough to make two of these so Excuse me, you're going to take it and you're just going to snip to what you need. Just like that. And we're going to cover that cork. So I'm going to put a bead of glue right down there. Then we'll put a bead of glue right down there. And then we're going to put it right down there. There you go. 
And then you're just going to snip off the excess like that. Okay. Now you're gonna you got an extra. See, you got these extra pieces here, and what this is the handle. So what you're gonna do is is you're gonna untie this. She tied it. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Now you can have a choice. You can have a pearl handle or you can have both a pearl and um, seam binding handle. So the choice is yours. So, I'm not going to need all of this. Like I said, May is extremely generous. She makes sure you have enough for um, at least two of these. So, I'm just going to snip it off right here. And see, I have that extra. Okay, so, what we're going to do is at the top of here, you're going to glue... The handle to the top here and we're just going to glue this one side here and then you're gonna flip it over and maybe I need to make this a little bit shorter yeah I'm just gonna snip it off right here and use those pieces. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this first. So you're just going to glue. <clears throat> glue this down like that. And you're going to glue it like that. Then. You're going to take the pearl and you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to glue it down like this and then glue this side down like that. So you're, so I use both the seam binding and the pearl to um, make it the handle as you see there. Okay. So now you're gonna let that dry a moment so now this is going to act like the bird nest so you're going to trim away this this little netting around this little chiffon flower okay you just trim that around like that then you're going to take the hot glue and you're just going to be generous with it okay like that and you're going to plop this down right on top of that because this is the little nest okay so right here at the back seam where we have that seam you are going to take one of these really beautiful appliques and you're going to put it on there but first we're going to put this applique on so i'm going to put it right here because it's going to because you need to put it see you need to have it to where Your little bird will lay right there so what you're going to do is you're just going to glue this around put a bead of glue right there just like that then you're going to wrap it on around this is a beautiful beaded applique and you're going to bring it on around like that
you're going to glue this on around like so. All right. See how that looks so far? It's really nice. Then you're going to take one of these pink appliques and you're going to double up on it. Just double up the, the fabulousness. You can leave it like that if you want or you can double up and I am doubling up because that's the way May did it. So I am going to double up. Okay, just make sure your handle and everything's out of the way. Okay. Then you're going to do the same here. You're just going to use your glue of choice. And look at that. She has such beautiful appliques. Stunning appliques. Okay, so we got the tassel part put together. I mean, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch. Oh, great. I told you it was storming. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch. For Greenbrier. Damn it. Okay, let me try. I'm going to try to get this done. Um, so there you go. You got the tassel part done. So now let's decorate the bird. Now, she suggested to take one of the appliques that she provided in there. And it looks like this. And it has a flower on it and a pearl. So what I done was take the flower out and I stiffened this to where I can bend it to look like wings okay like this and what I used is um, AP's crafters pick fabric stiffener this is the best fabric stiffener on the market this is the only one I use and it's the best one out there and I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can order this um, you can find this at Michael uh, Michaels I don't know if you can find it in Joann's but I'll put a link in the description box I know I think Amazon has it so this is the best one so all you're going to do is follow the directions on the back and you're going to stiffen the applique in there and remember your birds are going to come stuck together so you're going to break the little birds apart and you're going to put this on the back of the little bird as its little wings so super cute so we're just going to put some hot glue just like that and I'm just going to plop the little wings on there like that isn't that sweet that is so cute and she's provided a crown in there for the little bird so we're going to put the crown on the bird like that and we're going to plop it down like so and I should have done this before I glued it but right there you have the little um, la you know a little clasp there um, you're going to snip that off and I bet yep, there it is you've got some pearls put in there little pink pearls she Make sure you have everything for every little detail. She thinks of everything when she puts the little kits together. Look at there. Isn't that sweet? That's so cute. Okay. And um, so I've got all of this left for another project. So what you're going to do now is you know just bend your little wings up like so and you are going to glue your bird to its little nest so I'm going to be generous with the glue here and you're going to put your little bird right onto there and you're going to hold it just like that There we 
go. And isn't that sweet? So the last thing you're going to do is she's giving you a piece of this beautiful pearl um, trim here. And you're going to go all the way around the edge here um, with the trim. So I'm going to... Oh, my bird fell off. I guess I didn't hold him on there long enough. And you're going to go all the way around the top there. But I'm going to hold my bird. Make sure my bird don't come off. So that is it. That's that's putting it together. If these ta these tassels are super easy to make, um, so you can make these up and give these as gifts. Make them up and decorate your home. Just whatever it is you want to do, and they're just amazing and. Like I said, if you don't have a chance to get the kit, you can purchase everything in the store to make one. So, and we just happen to put things together um, for you so that you can just get the kit and put it together. And there we go. I'm going to press that in there like that. Push that up. Like that. Make sure it's all even. Lots of. There we go. And that is it, my friends. See, look. And you just hang it up and it's ready to go. Isn't that beautiful? That is just stunning. That is so pretty. I know there's another pearl to go right there, but. I lost my pearl, so I am going to find a little piece of bling to put on it because I lost my little pearl. So, and that's what's fun. You can change these up ever how you want to and, um, and put whatever you want to on there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. We'll put a touch of that in there. Just something different. Just something different. And whoop, just like that. There you go. So that is the Angel Bird Tassel um, Kit. Look at all of this. And see what you can do is, is you can go through and dress the edges of your lace if you want to by just simply um, cleaning up the edges here by cutting them all off at an angle as you see here and that is it my friends so if you like this kit or this idea give me a thumbs up um, links will be in the description box down below for you to order this kit and uh, like I said we have very limited quantity and um, if our kits start going over really well which we've had some amazing success with it already um, then we will keep pumping these kits out I already have five kit ideas already in store for everyone I have an Easter one coming and just lots of stuff lots and lots and i hope to see you on the 6th um, on our Ustream channel where you can watch me live teach you how to take um the kit that sold out uh, i'm going to teach you how to take the the stuff that's in that kit 
and create some fun embellishments that you can use on various projects and everything. But this tassel will be in my Etsy for sale and it will sell for the same amount as the kit. So um, it'll be over there in my Etsy and I'll put a link in the description box down below for that as well. And um, oh, like, share, and subscribe. Share my channel with all of your crafty peeps. Help me reach a thousand, hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Um, that is my goal this year. I want to reach 100,000 subscribers. So, um, like, share, and subscribe. And if you, again, if you have any questions for me or May with the store or anything, um, let us know. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, the coupon, Angela20, um, is good for an entire year. And remember, you have to order a minimum of $25.00. Um, in May store, which is not hard because she has so much beautiful stuff, um, and it excludes kits, so you can't get the savings off the kits. The kits are already at a good price anyway, so um, it will not work on kits. And you have to have twenty-five dollars in your um, cart. Also, another uh, another update on that as well on the uh, store. Um, if you put a kit in your cart, you have 24 hours to check out or the kit will go back in stock. So, um, you'll have 24 hours to check out because what happens is people, what happens is they put it in their cart. Well, the quantity gets um, automatically deducted from the store and, uh, so we think we've sold out of the kits when in reality um, we've got, you know, we, we had one or two sitting in the cart where people had put them in there but never paid for them and other people lost out on the kit. So we want to ensure that that never happens again. So again, if you put it in the cart, you sign up, you put it in the cart. Um, you'll have 24 hours to check out for kits only. Now, this doesn't apply to other products. It is just for the kits only. Again, if you have any questions about that, let us know in the, in the comment section below. But this is it. This is the little angel bird tassel. And pictures will be at the end of the video. And like always, I will see you in the next crafty one. Until then, bye-bye.